morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss one of the cases of the cause of children, that is, to find the future capacity due to infinite in charge 6. First, let us consider an infinitely thin charge state having surface charge density sigma. We have to confine electric field intensity at a point V at a distance of R from C. First, we have to construct a Gaussian cylindrical surface of length R at a cross section area A on both sides of the seat as shown in the figure. At first, we have to find the electric charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface. We have surface charge density sigma is electric charge divided by area. From this relation, we can find out the charge. Electric charge is nothing but the protocol surface charge density and area. This is the amount of charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface. I have already written down here and. According to Gaussian theorem, electric flux length with a closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon times of charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface. Here, E vector dot dx vector, that means the dot product, this dot product can be written as E dx in cos theta, where theta is the angle between the direction of electric field and a normal dot to the surface. Now, let us divide the Gaussian surface into three parts as shown in figure. Now, this Gaussian surface is divided into three parts. The first part, part one, is this, this area, this cross section area, and a part two, this cross section area, and a part three, the lateral surface area. Therefore, the lay inside of the equation can be split it into three parts. Let's see here for the first surface, electric field for the positive charge, electric field intensity is away from the charge. Then the surface area, area, area element is also perpendicular to surface. Therefore, for the first part, the angle between E and D A is zero, and I am writing here E D A is in a constant three. Similarly, for the second surface here, E vector is goes away from the charge sheet. And D is, is also along the direction of electric field, therefore the angle between them is zero and surface for the second surface I'm written here. And the third one, that the lateral surface area, electric field intensity is away from the charge, and D is, is a vector perpendicular to the surface, therefore the angle between them is 90 degree. And the third part I have written here as D, D is the cos 90. As we all always know that the cos 90 is zero. And cut down the job. And then here, first time without any change, second time without any change because cos 0 degree is 1, here is also cos 0 degree 1, then right hand side remain unchanged. Here, the electric field intensity are constant, we can put also an integration here, E dA is equal to sigma A divided by power node. Here, E dA is, what is dA? Small area on the surface. 1 and integration of that will to get this cross section area A. Therefore, A, this integration of dS is A, similarly, integration of dS is 1. Then, if these two terms are adding together, we have 2 E A is equal to sig uh, sigma A divided by so on. Here, A, A cancel, B equal to sigma divided by 2 and step on. This is the expression for electric field intensity due to infinitely thin charge. From this expression, we can say that the electric field intensity due to a charge is independent of its distance from the city. Thank you. That is the end of the today's sessions. Let's see together in the next class with another topic. Bye bye.